from London, if you don't mind taking big steps, is the famous Forest of Epping. And here is an autumn memory of the country of the upland dwellers, as its name implies, a memory of silver bracken, of thickets carpeted with wind-swept leaves. Epping Forest was acquired for the nation by the Corporation of London in 1882, when it was declared open by Queen Victoria. The autumn sun patterns the copse with shadows and heightens the pallor of the birch. The elusive black stags of Epping remind one that the forest was a royal chase in Edward the Confessor's day, and that, my dear Junior, was exactly 900 years ago. Today, wide roads and narrow lanes intersect a vast area of nearly 6,000 well-timbered acres. Trees, then, if you prefer it. Water, as well as woodland, greets the visitor, and boaters especially will have happy recollections of Connaught waters. The North Road out of the forest abuts on the fine Norman Church of St. John the Baptist in Epping Town at the end of the ancient High Street. In the marketplace, we found one of Epping's pretty little maids, complete with pup. Both of them looked rather wistful. Dr.